Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is not going to be really anything about Corel Draw. And I'm not sure about other companies, but if you own an epilogue, and if you own a newer epilogue in the last several years, and I don't, I'm not I'm not educated on that, but I know how it is. I own a laser I bought two years ago and the new print driver. You can cut the inside of an item out. I just realized I misspelled inside or outside. You can cut the uh, inside of an item out before you cut the outside of an item. And if you didn't watch the second video, if this washer just happened to be real little and you cut the outside first and it kind of falls, if your vector bed's a little bit unlevel or got a little warp to it and it falls, then it's not going to cut a perfectly round hole or it might be out of focus. So this video is really just if you have an epilogue. So we're going to save this job. And I've already saved it without this text in there. And I'll show you. So we saved it. Then you're going to go and you're going to open your epilogue job manager. You're going to go to jobs. And there's the job I did just now. It's uh, January 26th. Click on it. And it shows your preview screen, screen and everything. Well, right here under vector sorting, you can click inside out and then save that and then go to print that and it will cut out the inside of these letters first. I didn't have this on there when I was actually printed, but it'll cut the inside of the letters before it's going to cut the outside of the letters. Same thing on the washer. So it's going to make these four cuts and then go back and cut everything else. But I don't know about other brands, but I'm just saying uh, that's what how it works on my epilogue driver. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.